Hi, welcome to Teacher Time with Mrs. Panza. During this teacher time, I'm going to share with you how to do the letter extraordinaire activity, taking one letter and turning it into what looks like a bubble letter or block letter, and then adding some designs around the outside to make it more interesting and to um, jazz it up a little bit. So the first direction um, shares with you to start by drawing your favorite letter, whichever letter you choose, and draw it lightly with a pencil and kind of in the middle of your page, leaving lots of room around the outside edge. Okay, so I'm working with the letter E for Elko. Step two is to go around the letter to create a block letter. So when you do this part, I would leave a finger space or two before you start your line. And you're basically just kind of tracing around the letter that you already have there. After you complete this step, your letter that you chose should look thicker and also be a little bit bigger and take up some more room on your page. Okay. Uh, the third direction says that you can erase that center line there if you want to. I drew with pen, so I'm just obviously going to keep mine there, but if you wanted to erase it, you could, or you could keep it there too. Your decision. Okay. Um, then we're going to outline the letter. It says with three layers of marker. Again, if you don't have markers at home or you prefer to use a different material, that's fine. I'm going to be using um, the markers. Okay. So it says to outline the letter with three layers of marker. I'm just tracing that line, that block letter that I drew. Okay, if you wanted to make a wider line with your marker, you can kind of hold your marker in a different way. You can kind of use the edge, side edge of your marker. That'll give you a wider line. If you just hold it and use the tip, it's going to give you a much narrow, uh, much more narrow line or thin line too. I'm just going to kind of go back over that so that my lines are hopefully even. And I said, as I mentioned earlier, I am creating an E for Elko, so I'm going to use blue and gold or blue and yellow as I use my colors today. Oops. Okay, so that's my second layer. And then I have my third layer. I'm going to use the gold color. Again, you can choose colors based on the letter that are meaningful to the letter, or just use colors that you like, however you'd like to do it. It's up to you. Okay. So I've outlined it with my three layers of marker, okay? Um, and then I'm going to color in now the inside of the letter. So again, you could use one of the colors that you already have that you chose to outline with or pick a brand new color that you want to introduce up to you. Um, that's where maybe if you want to disguise that line that you had, you could use a darker color, but you don't have to. And for this part, it suggests to use crayon. So I'm using a crayon to fill in, but again, feel free to use materials that you have and change it as you need to. I'm trying to fill in all that white space and try and stay inside that marker line. Okay, so now I have my E for Elko and all my spirit colors. The next direction after I've colored it with crayon, um, for an extra challenge, if you wanted to, it suggested to kind of gradually increase the color from a new color, you could do that. Um, I just colored it in a solid color. But if you want to use more than one color on the inside of your letter, again, that's another option that you have. Okay, um, so now you can make a pattern around the outside of the letter. 
on the directions with the activity, it shows with you near the bottom of that page a couple different things, kind of what looks like zigzag lines that are layered, scalloped lines, or polka dot circles. Um, you could use one of those. Of course, if there's something else that you think you might want to try, you could feel free to do that too, or maybe use more than one. It's up to you. Um, as far as what material to use for this, you could use a marker, you could use your pencil or crayon. Again, whatever you would like to use or what you think will work best for your artwork. Okay, I think I'm going to use my darker shade of blue and I'm going to do those scalloped lines depending on where you want to start. You can see the first direction where it said to leave lots of space around the outside edge is really important because if we draw too big, then we don't have enough room when we did our layers of color and now as we're going back and adding these finishing details. Now as I'm drawing my scalloped line, if you wanted to add another layer of scalloped line with a different color, you could do that to fill your page up even more. Again, that's up to you or if you wanted to color in these inside shapes and add on to it in that way, you could do that, but you do not have to. Okay, so now I have a letter extraordinaire where I've taken a simple letter, turned it into a block letter or bubble letter, and added some lines, colors, um, and shapes to make it look more interesting. I hope you enjoy giving it a try on your own. Um, good luck, have fun, and happy creating. See you next time.